All right, everybody, welcome back to Satisfactory. Uh, this is episode four, and my name is Axiana Vault, and I'm just going to jump right into it. We have done quite a bit since this last video. Um, let me kind of take you through some of the stuff, and uh, let's, see, let's see what we have unlocked here. So, The current milestone I'm working on, as you can see at the top right, is the rifle. Now, that is a tier five uh milestone that we got and we're just about I think we have all the stuff we need let me check here I think we're on the way I think we need to get more sulfur that that's what the problem was oh no we're in the middle of crafting okay now these nobelisks these are little explosives from what I understand I haven't actually used them to explode anything so that's something we're going to definitely try this episode I wanted to make an episode where I'm actually kind of accomplishing stuff during the video so that's we're, we're gonna knock out this milestone we're gonna go play around with the rifle we're gonna blow stuff up it's gonna be fun so let me just grab all the things I need for this let's see do I have wire up here let's see here do I have 3,000 wire up here no okay so all that's downstairs wire cable I have downstairs as you can also see I have plastic because I still do not have a jetpack and getting around has been frankly just a pain in the ass so i have a little uh plastic production area over there so we'll go check on that later but first let me go grab all the stuff i need four five six boom okay let's go and unlock this rifle and i, I have no idea what it's going to require to build but we'll throw all the stuff we need into there what else we need these we need these and 50 of these let's launch rifle unlocked all right where is this rifle boom what do we need heavy modular frames circuit boards and screws um let let's add that to the list Heavy modular frames. That's actually something we're struggling to build right now. What do I need for that? Encased industrial beam. Okay, so I need three, which means I need 15 encased industrial beams. I don't think that'll be an issue. We'll just knock that out real quick. All right, we got those. What else do we need? 90 times three is what? 270 screws. I think I have those right over here. Hopefully I have enough. How much is that? Okay, so let's split that into 270. Boom, okay. Let's take those. And we have more steel pipe down below us, so that's not a huge issue. And then circuit boards. What do we need for that? Quick wire? Regular wire. All right, well, let's go grab pipes and wires so we can start building stuff. Now, I don't know if you noticed... But this whole little platform that you can kind of see where my crosshairs are, that is going to turn into, that platform is going to be a huge sorting facility to make use of the new conveyor elevators we got with this update. Um, right up back here, I kind of redid my whole basic part. So, you know, uh, iron plates, iron rods, and um, what else? Screws. So we're going to go grab those. And eventually route them over to the sorting facility to go up to our storage area. So um, it, it'll take a little bit of time to get that set up. You know, I'm going to need to get a bunch of things before it's really ready to send everything to. But in the meantime, I might just route the outputs of those constructors right there into our storage. Just so we can start having a supply because, you know, we, we have plates, but if you look at the backup, I mean, we still got plenty of room for more, so just, it'll just be nice to have those filling up while we're doing other things. So let's knock out some of these circuit boards. We only need 10, so I'm only going to build 10. So let's take a look. Let's, let's get a rifle. We need, okay. So we're going to need to get all the stuff to make cartridges, which... These need gunpowder, which is sulfur. So luckily I have a sulfur deposit not too far away. And we're going to go grab some sulfur. 
And um, I'm probably just going to cut to when we get to the sulfur because it's kind of far. It's kind of a far run. I haven't really optimized the path to get there, nor have I automated it at all. So, so we'll be working on that. It's on top of, I think, like that mountain right there. One of these mountains, maybe this one. So that'll be something that we want to automate eventually as well. Okay, now I know it's around here somewhere. Oh, I think it's right there. See, I have, I have a ladder right there. So that's exactly where it is. Let's go take a look. Grab some sulfur. Because I just really want to play with this rifle. <laughs> I kind of, I, I kind of made it like the goal of this episode to make the rifle. So, so let's let's start shipping away here. All right, two hundred fifty. So we're gonna take the fast way down, and just ragdoll. Nice little way to fall. You take no fall damage. And we're going to head back. So if we have 250, 250 sulfur, then we want 500 coal. And that'll create the 2 to 1 ratio that we need for the gunpowder. Alright, and I did look to see what else we need for the rifle the cartridge I think it I think it's called how does the rifle look in our hands oh man that's badass okay so it just needs detonator or uh, these oh I need beacons let's make 25 beacons all right we'll make all the gunpowder we can all right we're just about done with the gunpowder let's make these Nobelisk explosives basically. This looks like it's one to four. Nice. Alright. Let's load up. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so each cartridge is one shot. So you can see at the bottom bottom left there, we have 32. We started with 42. So let's go see how effective this is. I don't know if there's anything close that we can hunt. But we're going to go find something. Here we go. Hello, boys. Okay. It's not the quickest quickest thing, but quickest thing to kill. And we kind of lose our our reticle once we're you know, in control shift R by the way to ragdoll. <laughs> Unless you have the rifle, then apparently it doesn't work. That's good to know. If you have the rifle out, you cannot ragdoll. That's ragdoll. Control shift R. Stops you from getting fall damage. So let's head back. I'll do a I'll do a short little little tour of what we have going on. Assuming we can get back and get around this giant lake. Yeah, we'll probably just jump back to being back at the base. Okay, so we're kinda we're getting back from our long and hunting safari and you can kind of get a good look at the two factories we have here now one thing I want to do I'm, I'm going for a modular design for the factories right I think I mentioned that in the last video so what I did is I, I just mirrored the footprint right I think that's a seven by six foundation with one extra one for uh, power lines to come in but some of these especially once we get later recipes they're gonna become a lot more complex so to remedy that I figure I'll just build up so that the footprint will stay the same. We'll just go more vertical as the recipes get more complicated and require more inputs and more machines and whatnot. So I think we showed the reinforced iron plate factor in the last episode. 
And, you know, we're slowly building up. The, all these factories are going to have an internal buffer like this. So one thing we did, as you can see right here, these industrial storage containers, they have a second output. So what we did is we took some of the output for these reinforced plates and we're running them across to the other factory. And the reason we're doing that is because over here we're making, uh, I think we're making the modular frames. Yeah, you can see right there, modular frames, right? So, and how we're doing on these? No, we're not, not bad. We're getting there. So modular frames require reinforced iron plates. So this whole first floor is basically just another reinforced iron plate factory. But the issue we had was that these only produce at five per minute, if assuming we're at 100% efficiency, right? The, let me see, let me get, let me go up to the upper level. That's where we're actually constructing the, oh, that, that would be bad. I, I'm gonna figure out these walkways in a, in a way that makes it easier to get around, but the modular frames take in reinforced iron plates at 12 per minute to be 100% efficient, right? So in order to reach that without overclocking, we just threw in another input. This is gonna lower the efficiency maybe, but I'm not too worried. And then right here, using those new elevators, we split off our, our metal input, our iron bars, iron ingots to make the rods and this is something that we might um, might overclock when we're trying to get, or maybe you know, I because we have so much space up here, like we have tons of space to grow. I might shift everything this way, put in a second um, iron rod, and then feed them that way because I think this produces 15 and this needs 24. Yeah, so we can we can kind of mess with the clock speeds on these to get 12 per minute out of each and make this thing 100% efficient. So that's that's kind of just something to work on in the beginning. But you can kind of see, um, I don't have walls up here just because of power lines and stuff, but you can kind of see how we're going to go vertical with these new elevators that really help us make smaller footprints. And to be honest, I probably could have made these more uh, space efficient, but just for the ease of running the belts and kind of doing all that stuff and keeping it kind of a seven by six. This is just kind of what we're going to do. And then if we need to go higher again, you know, we can just build up, put another floor down and go up with elevators. And it's just really, it's a really nice modular way of doing that. And, you know, our output's getting put into, let's see if we, we'll follow an output as it comes. Fo you know, these conveyor elevators just make everything so much simpler. Just bring it right down and output it. Now again, this factory also has a three industrial container internal buffer. And it'll it'll all eventually, they'll all eventually, this factory, that factory, they have their outputs. What I'm kind of thinking is I'll just have them elevator down into this lower level. And eventually they'll kind of work their way over to this eventual sorting facility. This, I, I think what I'm gonna end up doing is have everything kind of flow in, get sorted out and distributed to the appropriate lines over here. For the moment, I only have, I have four splitters. They're kind of expensive to make for me because I don't have a lot of the higher tech stuff automated yet. So I have to make them all by hand. So one of the things I'm gonna, I'll, I'll probably start making a little bit more so I can at least start outputting, you know, like these two factories and then these right here. So I can at least get what I, whatever I am producing to start filling up our, our buffers so that we can, you know, take and craft whatever we need to. So that's kind of where we are now, what the plan is going forward. Um, again, if, if you guys haven't checked out the stream, check it out. We, we stream every Tuesday and Thursday on Twitch. Uh, the link will be in the description below. Uh, we're really on the last stream, you know, we got we got our oil. We ran a, this huge, massive sky bridge that goes all the way to the oil. We ran it all the way over here, and it's a mixture of ramps and conveyor elevators. So th that's something we did on the last stream. We kind of we built this factory on the last stream as well. So you know, check co come hang out, check it out. We do a lot of this construction on stream because it's 
it, it's very time consuming to actually build all this stuff. So it's not something I necessarily want to do through YouTube videos, although I will be I will be doing some constructions just so you guys can kind of see the process and how we're doing it. Uh, when I'm doing my oil refineries or my oil power generation out there, I'll probably do a video on that. I don't think that's something we'll do on stream, but uh, the next big goal is Jetpack. And let's just, before we sign off here, let's just take a look at that goal and see what it's going to take. So I believe that's in here. Yeah, so this is our biggest bottleneck right here is producing computers because our plastic production is lagging so far behind. But before we can even get that going, we need to at least get these five items outputting and filling up our storage containers. Because you can see we're running, I mean, we're good on these and these rods, I think. Yeah, but screws, we're danger low on. We need a ton of screws because we just have none flowing in. So that might be something that I do either off stream or even something I do on stream. It could be, it could be a problem that we kind of solve together on stream. So, you know, we got a good little community that comes in there and uh, it, it'd be nice It'd be nice to have more people to, to hang out with and, you know, bounce ideas off of and create something great together. So if that sounds interesting to you, come check us out. Again, the, the link will be in the description below. So thanks for thanks for hanging out and watching the video, and hopefully I'll see you guys again later.